Welcome back to D-Max Man Gaming. I'm your host, The Mass Gamer, and here we believe gaming is a lifestyle, not a hobby. Welcome back, guys, and today we're talking about a rumor that everyone was talking about, and the rumor has to do with Sony. Now, everyone that was talking about this rumor in the gaming community, everyone was speculating because the rumor was that Sony was going to outright buy Take-Two Interactive. Now, if you don't know why this is a huge deal, it's a huge deal because Take-Two Interactive is one of the biggest developers in publishing companies out there. They have made some of the most iconic games, like Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead Redemption. You just played Red Dead Redemption 2, and that's a game that came from Take-Two Interactive. And people was wondering if Sony was going to actually buy Take-Two Interactive right out, because if they did, any new game that Take-Two Interactive made would have been exclusively on the PlayStation 5. And people was wondering what's this going to happen, because if this did go down, Microsoft and Nintendo will be sweating. And a lot of people was hoping for this. But right after this rumor came out, the following day, Sony came out and announced that this was just a rumor. It's, there's no talks with them and Take-Two Interactive at all. This is not happening. It's, a, it's false. This is not going to happen. And the whole gaming community put their heads down in sadness. I couldn't believe how many people came out with videos looking so sad about this news. And I'm thinking to myself, this is why I didn't come out on the day that this news came out, came out and did a video. Because I knew there was more to it than this. Because this rumor was a huge rumor. Everyone that loved gaming and in the gaming industry, working in the gaming industry, was talking about this. Journalists was talking about this. YouTubers. People on Reddit. Everyone was talking about this. It was huge. It was a huge rumor. And for for Sony to come out and say that this is not happening made a lot of people upset. And I was wondering, why did it make a lot of people upset? I know you guys wanted to. Why, Mass Gamer? Because right now, lots of people own PlayStation 4s, PlayStation 4 Pros in their homes. They're looking to looking to continue that tradition. They're looking to buy the next Sony console. And they want their console to have the most exclusives, the most anticipated games from the most Iconic development in publishing studios. And this is the reason why they wanted Sony to buy Take Two Interactive. Because it would have made all their AAA games exclusive to the PlayStation platform. And people wanted it so bad they could taste it. But when Sony came out and said this is not happening, a lot of people hung their heads down in shame and sadness because they was hoping this would be true. A lot of people was interested in this. And to be honest, I was as well. I mean, but see, I own all three platforms, the Nintendo, the Microsoft's console, and Sony's console. So any AAA game that ever comes out for any one of these platforms, I'm able to play. Any any game that comes out for any one of these platforms, I'm able to play because I have all three consoles. Now, a lot of people, especially the casual gamers, may not put a lot of money down on buying multiple um, dedicated consoles for their homes. So they buy one console for their dedicated gaming. And they want the console with the best hardware and the best exclusives. And this is why Sony won this current gen console war. And people are still looking for the console war to continue. Now, Microsoft has stated many times in many E3s that they're not Sony's competitive for your home. They don't care about the console wars. They want innovation and competition to help the game industry grow. And I think Phil Spencer said it. Um, so awesomely in them interviews. I love Phil Spencer just as much as D-Mac does because he's an amazing man and honest to, to a fault. And I feel like these console wars are silly. I mean, whatever console you want to play your games on, that's your choice. That's your choice. It's almost as silly as the PC Master Race because they feel like their hardware is the most superior hardware. Kudos to you guys. And I'm sure D-Mac has talked about this in many of his videos before I jumped on to D-Mac's main game. But I feel the same way. I mean, I don't PC game at all neither, but I own all three of the dedicated console platforms because I love gaming and I love a dedicated console to play my games on. So, console wars are silly to me and I put a lot of money and time into these, into buying these consoles because I want to have great gaming experiences from Nintendo, from Sony, and from Microsoft. So, this is why console wars don't make sense to me at all. Just like Phil Spencer. But the reason why people were so upset about this is because Sony is sweating, and everyone knows it in the gaming community. They're not going to outright say it, but Sony is sweating.
because Nintendo and Microsoft are partnering up. Now, think about this. Sony came out and shut down that rumor, but it's been a rumor going on about Microsoft and Nintendo for a while now. Nintendo hasn't responded. Microsoft has responded. You know about that video we did where the Xbox Live and Xbox Game Pass will have an app on the Nintendo Switch bringing all of them AAA games that Microsoft own and a lot of the third-party games that you purchase on your Microsoft account, you can now play on your Switch. If this deal goes through, it has, there's been a lot of rumors and speculations about that as well. And no one has shot it down, not Nintendo or Microsoft. Microsoft is coming to E3 this year, but Sony's not. I'm telling you, everybody don't want to believe it. Everybody's in denial, but Sony doesn't have nothing to show for, show for E3 this year. And they're feeling the heat from Microsoft and Nintendo. And they're trying to develop a plan to counteract it because they want to stay competitive. Because when companies are competitive, we get better innovations, better prices, and more things we want from them when it comes to gaming. And this is why competition is important. And I feel, truly, I f truly feel like there's 100% that Sony right now is sweating because they don't know what to do. They are really sweating because Nintendo and Microsoft have combined their forces to combat Sony. And Sony fans are upset as well because Sony is not saying anything at all. And they're scared that their console won't be the top dog again. All the PlayStation fanboys. I'm not a PlayStation fanboy. I'm not a fanboy of any console. I love all my consoles. I love Nintendo. I love Microsoft. I love Sony. I love them because they have certain games that I play that make me feel good and give me great experiences. I'm not a fanboy of any console, any platform, neither is VMAC, and a lot of our people in our community are not as well. And we don't care who has the best console. We don't care who has the latest exclusives because we own all three platforms to play any exclusive that comes out for any one of these platforms, and we're happy with that. That's what we put our time and money into so we can have the great experiences. And for Sony, they're feeling the heat. And they had to shoot this rumor down because they knew this was not going to happen. And, and to think about it, if you think about this logically, Take-Two Interactive would not sell their company to Sony. Because if this rumor was true, Take-Two Interactive had to be in a lot of financial trouble for them to allow Sony to consume them. Because having their game on all three platforms is, um, it makes more revenue for them than having it on just one platform. Let's think about that logically. Would you want your game to be on all three platforms so you can get money from all three of those platforms, communities? Or you just want your game on one platform and you get money from one community? Come on, y'all. I know. I know, I know people are going to argue in the comment section. Well, is, if they are fans of some of the games that 2 team are to release you know, in the next coming years, they're going to go out and buy a console. Not necessarily. Let me tell you something about the casual gamer and how they, and how they think logically. They go out there and buy the console, especially if they don't own a console, or they buy in, 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 uh, in the works of getting a new console because their old console is about to die on them or it's, or it's about to be discontinued or something like that. They go out there and spend their money on one console that they feel has the most exclusive games that they want to play, and they buy that one console. So if they already bought a console, say like they bought, say like they next year or the following year buy an Xbox because the Xbox has a lot more exclusive than Sony. And then Sony come out and say that we just bought this, this huge company that makes multiple um, AAA games that people love. People are not going to go out there and spend, out, spend their hard earned money buying a second console just to play these games in the first place. That's why people were so excited about this. This is why people was wounded about this because if a person is going to make a, a conscious decision on what to spend their money on for their gaming, for their hobby, or lifestyle, whatever you want to call it. If they was going to spend their money for on something, they want to check their options, look, check all their, check all their um, checks and balances before they make a, a conscious purchase on any console. And if this was still a rumor, people are not going to go out and buy a console on a rumor. That's why I feel like Sony shut it down, because Sony has other plans to work, and they don't want this rumor to get everybody excited and then don't go through. Because Sony stated that there there is no talk of buying Take Two Interactive, and Take Two Interactive don't even they even respond because in their policy they don't respond to rumors that are not true. They don't respond at all. So that's why it's so crazy. That's why it's so crazy. And from Take Two Interactive's perspective, why would you want your 
games on one console, one platform, you can have them on all three platforms. And if Microsoft and Nintendo make this move where they have the Xbox Live and the Xbox Game Pass on app for the Nintendo Switch, and if it's stream the um, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Xbox, and the Xbox One games on the Nintendo Switch, that's a win-win. So why would Take Two Interactive want to be just exclusive to one platform when they can have their games on all three platforms? I'm just saying it's, it's, it, it doesn't it, does, it doesn't add up. So that's why I know that this rumor was just a rumor because Take Two Interactive is such a big publisher developed company that they're making millions of dollars on Grand Theft Auto alone. Now Red Redemption is making millions of dollars. They don't want to be they don't want to sell their company to Sony. The only reason I think that would be a logical move for them is they are in financial trouble. It takes them right to be in no financial trouble. So that's why I feel like this was just a rumor. And when Sony confirmed it, it made a lot of people sad because people was hoping that Sony did this. Because Microsoft and Nintendo are making so many moves that Sony may be out of the running this coming console war. And that's just my opinion about things. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you feel like this was a big, this was a bad mistake by Sony not? Thinking about this and not trying to acquire Take Two Interactive, do you think Take Two Interactive made a great decision or not being exclusive on the PlayStation? Because that means they lose out on other streams of revenue with the other two consoles. Do you think Sony has something big in works and they're not worried about Microsoft and Nintendo? Let me know all you guys down in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for staying to the the video. I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like button, helps out the channel. Make sure you share it. I also have time as well. If you want to see more content from your board, the Mass Gamer, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell to notify me to be notified when I upload more content. As always, stay safe, keep gaming. I'm out. I'll talk to you later.